Hey everyone, Clilivy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video was a bit delayed because there was a couple other videos that took precedent over this, like my most recent upload, which was from yesterday, and it's where I found a bunch of my dreams at Target, so that's really fun. Make sure to check it out if you guys haven't already. But today is opening and reviewing everything that I got for Christmas that is Squish related. So this is including everything I got from both Christmases, stuff from my stocking, you know, there's even a Squishmallow coloring book, so there's a lot of fun things. And I also have to open up and review two different Squishmallow sets, so it's gonna be really fun. I also have a fake Squishmallow Christmas gift to open up as well, so I'm really excited, and let's just get into it. Okay, everyone, so here's my complete Squishmallow Christmas haul. I am so excited, and here is my fake Squishmallow. Yes, it's a fake, but you guys will see why I ordered it. It's a fake Squishmallow Christmas cow. So it's going to be really cute and I'm going to open it up for you guys. I figured I would do it in this video. Let's just get into it and I will open up the gift first. All right, everyone. I think this is a good view for both of us. So I'm really excited. And yes, it is in a Christmas bag. And I know it's like well into the second week of January. But like I said, I have been busy and haven't been able to film this video. But hope you guys are still interested. This one, like I said, is a fake christmas cow so it's really cute and i think it was like 12 bucks online it was kind of on sale so i wrapped it up nicely because it literally did not even come in a mailer you guys will see what happened but let's get it open i'm really excited you guys okay so you can kind of see let's move the bag out of the way i thought it was really pretty okay i kind of wrapped it a bit so that it's kind of a mystery but you can kind of see what it is i'm so excited to show you Oh my gosh so it is a christmas tree cow and this is the bag that it came in it's like i said it's not even like a regular mailer there's no protectant or anything you can see right through the package and it looks like there's some damage even right there so but let's get this guy open i'm really excited as you can see it is a christmas tree cow oh my gosh so of course it is fake and you can obviously tell it's fake. However, I did see this on Amazon and I was like, why hasn't Kelly Toys made like a Christmas cow? Like they, they just don't, you know what I mean? And if they do, it's not anything like this. They just throw like a Santa hat on it or something like they did Benny, which is fine. But this one is so creative. And yeah, it looks like there's like some type of damage. I don't know, as you can see those like dark spots, but doesn't feel like anything it's just the fabric so that's kind of disappointing of course it is fake so it doesn't matter too much to me but let's fluff this guy up a bit he's a little flat this is literally so cute are you kidding me look at that it looks pretty realistic obviously the nose does not look very realistic however i think you know from afar i think from afar it looks pretty realistic like if you saw this in a mass pile of squishmallows you might not be able to tell that it was fake right off the bat but I don't know, something about it is just so cute and I've always wanted to order some more of these fake Squishmallows. But let me know down below if you think I should do that more often, like kind of make a series where I buy and review fake Squishmallows because they have so many cute ones, especially like unique cow designs like the blueberry cow and you know, some others. So, so cute. So this was my gift to myself and I don't know what to call her. So let me know down below what I should name this cutie because of course she does not have a tag so but she's so cute i love her and i love that she has these like white spots as well as obviously little ornaments in the star she's so cute so that is the first thing that i got okay so here is this clip that i got in my stocking actually and as you can see they are one in the same how cute okay so here is a close-up of the christmas tree cow squishmallow he is so cute let me know down below if you guys would get like a fake squishmallow if it was like a unique design like this because I don't think Squishmallows would ever make something like this and if they did, wouldn't it kind of be copying the fake ones design? I don't know anything about that but let me know down below if you guys have bought fake Squishmallows before like the blueberry cow. All right, you guys, so now we have everything opened and this is everything that I got for Christmas that is Squish related. So let's power through them real quick. We got the fake Christmas cow. We got this three set of pet toys and they are the bug selection. And I'm really excited because I did not have a ladybug at all. Really excited about that. And then in my stocking, I got this Christmas tree carol clip. I love her so much. And then of course I got this 12 inch Yeti, Yuri the Yeti. That is her tag right here. 
And then I got this set of eight Christmas ornaments. I'm really excited to open up Avita, the Moose, Darla, and so many more. And then I got this cute little mint. I believe its name is Dulce. This one did not come with a tag, even when we found it in store. Finally, I got this off-brand, but pretty similar, Squishmallow coloring book. So it looks really cute. And that's the ugly page that I've colored so far. Okay, first I'm going to open up these cuties. All right, you guys, time to open them. So this is one of the sets that I've always wanted the most of the pet toys. And I don't know about you guys, but I collect the pet toys because, you know, they're basically the same thing. And how are you going to know that they are pet toys, like, without squeezing them? Because if you don't squeeze them, they look just like little capsule-sized squish. Looks like I need two hands for this. They're harder to open than the Valentine's Duo set that I just opened earlier. And I'm super excited! Oh my gosh! You guys, look how cute this background is. I wish there wasn't holes in it or the sticker residue because it's kind of cute. I don't know, I might keep it. I don't need to, but I like to hoard things. Okay, you guys, so here they all are. I'm so excited. So they are about like four inches, like the capsule blind bag size. And they are so cute. They do have all these extra little tag loops though. And okay, don't know where that's from. Okay, they all fell, but I am really excited. So this one is Sunny the Bee, like I said, so cute. Sunny the Bee is so cute, one of the classics, the OGs, and is just always adorable. The black and yellow is amazing, and the glittery little weens. And then up next we have Trudy the Ladybug, and this is my very first Ladybug ever. Looks like we should have picked out a better one because this one looks really loose and shorter than the other antenna. As you can see, it's really floppy, but Oh well, I literally don't know how to fix that. Anyways, she's my very first ladybug and I'm so excited. Literally miraculous ladybug. That's all I can think about right now. But she is so cute. I love that she's all black with some red as opposed to all red with some black. You know what I mean? So literally, I love her so much. And now I definitely want some more ladybugs because she is so cute. They all have blush, which is adorable. Do you guys see how bad her antenna is? Oh my gosh. I guess it's cute. I don't know, you know, gives her some personality. But that is Trudy. She is so cute. I love how tiny her little spots are. Oh my gosh. I literally have to get many more other ladybugs. I just love how simple she looks and she's so perfect. Especially her little crazy ringed eyes and her blush. She's so perfect. And then this is Rena or Reina, I believe, the butterfly. She is so cute as well. I believe I have this one in like a five inch from like two years ago, but she is so cute. This is like one of the most classic butterflies. I'm not sure if it is the first one that they have ever released, but if you guys know me, I love the butterflies, the bugs, and all of them. So this set is literally perfect for me. It's so cute. I love them so much. Reina or Rena the butterfly. She is so simple, just like the others, but just, you know, classic. So cute. She's like bubblegum pink and baby blue, so she's literally like cotton candy colors. I love her so much. She even has a little detail of glitter in her wings and her antenna. That is really cute. And of course, the blush just ties it all together. So cute. All right, up next is Carol, my only squish clip that I got for Christmas this year. My grandma always lets me pick out one for my stocking every year, so it was really fun. This is a classic little Christmas tree Carol clip. She's so adorable. If you guys don't know, it's pretty obvious. I love trees. I got this tree blanket for Christmas as well, and I just had to get her. I also love green, so... And the Christmas trees are one of my very few Christmas squish that I enjoy a lot because, of course, I love trees. So this one is adorable, not really tree shaped, just very round. She looks more like a Christmas ornament than a tree, but she is adorable. She has a sparkly tree and the strings of lights. And let's get into her bio. She does have the old bio from last year because the clips they released at Walgreens were like from last year for some reason. That's why they have the squad pic. But here is Carol's bio. So that is Carol, the Christmas tree clip. I love her so much, and you guys know I love hoarding the Squishmallow clips. 
All right, you guys, next is a Squishmallow related item, the Squish Squad coloring book. So I picked out a bunch of different ones on Amazon. This one was my favorite and I got it from my stepmom for Christmas along with a couple other things. If you guys wanted to see the full haul, it's the Christmas vlog part one, it will be linked. But let's just get into it real quick. It's super cute. I really love the picture. So they have the Bigfoot right there. And you can really pick and choose what some of these squish you want. Because that cow could be Caden or Ronnie or Bellana, etc. Same with this little guy. You never know what uh, goat it's supposed to be. So you can make it any color. So cute. I really love this one. I love that there's a little random bat in there. And super cute. They even have some of the new ones. Like you guys saw the Longhorn Cow. And then this is the new Summer Squad from last year, which is cool. And they even have some Halloween ones and, you know, a bunch of ones. Th these two are my favorite. I love this one with the cute birds and all the sea cows, not all of them, but so many of them. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. This one is obviously Alita. You don't even need to color it at that point. Hello Kitty. You guys get the gist. There's a bunch. This one I tried coloring with like paint markers. Yeah. The colors don't go well together, so don't mind that. But yeah, so that's basically the entire book. It is so cool, you guys. And I'm not sure how much it was, but it was like less than $8, I think. So go check them out on Amazon. All right, up next is my 8-inch Dulce the Mint. So again, I found this one in a store like Marshall's, TJ Maxx, etc. And my grandma decided to gift it to me for Christmas. However, this one did not have the tag and I could not find it in store. So kind of a bummer on that one, but still, I really did want this cutie. So it's you know, a basic mint with red and green swirls. That is it. And it's all green on the back for whatever reason. I really like this one though, because it's not super Christmassy besides the green in the red, obviously. But you know, regular mints have these similar color schemes going on. So Dulce can basically be put out with your regular food squishmallows and not really stand out too well because it's not super themed like, you know, a Christmas tree or a Santa Claus Bigfoot is. So that's what I really love about Dulce because you can have her out all year and people not really question, oh, why do you have a Christmas squish out in June? And you're like, uh, I don't know. But yeah, so a real quick review on Dulce since I can't show you the bio, I will of course show you above. But other than that, that is Dulce and I love them so much. I only wish they were a little bit smaller. All right, you guys, second to last squish we got was Yuri the 12 inch Yeti. So my grandma, if you guys saw the video of me opening up, she said she did cut off the tag, but she did keep it and I managed to find it and I just need a little plastic connector. This cutie is adorable. So the only other Yeti that I have, or at least of Yuri the Yeti, is this little Squishville, which I opened up in my advent calendar. It is so stinking cute and you can get it in like the six pack of Squishville at Walmart for like 20 bucks or so but look at the difference I kind of like my Squishville better <laughs> look at its little face but I do love having a bigger size you guys look at that difference so I got to pick this one out as well at Marshall's I believe I can show you guys a couple of the clips however I guess I did not pick out too well because you can see that little wrinkle it's just the way that they stitched it and you can literally never fix it so that she just has a little dimple they just have a dimple pretty cute though but yeah i really love the yetis they are very similar to the bigfoots um well i don't know why i say that because there's no fuzz and the bigfoots don't have horns but you guys kind of get what i'm saying right they don't have feet either um i don't know what i don't know why i always thought they were so similar now that i talk about it out loud they have no similarities However, they are really cute, you know, despite the fact that I'm stupid and that they have no significance compared to the Bigfoots, but so cute. So Yuri just has rainbow embellishments on its belly and its horns. Really cute. Nothing on the back, no tail or nothing, but I really, really love Yuri the Yeti. Here is their tag. These are also from last year as well. Again, that's the squad pick. And here is their bio. So that is Yuri the 12 inch Yeti. I was very happy to get this cutie for Christmas this year. All right, next I'm going to open up this box set. I'm so excited. Dun, 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 dun. I saved the very best thing for last and it is the eight piece Squishmallow ornament set from Costco. They had two different versions and I will play all the clips right now that I have of hunting for this cute set. 
You guys, look how stocked this Costco is. Oh my gosh, so many. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was wondering when they were going to get these because I already have the box set, you know, the regular box set from Costco, but now they have the ornaments. So they're $15.99, which is a really good price. And there's two sets. So there's this one, super cute. All right, so Murray, I already have Murray, the new Christmas tree. Chantel, I have her, Manny. So a lot of these ones in this set are from last year. Brooke, I do not have. Jordan, though, is new. It's a different gingerbread. He has little blush. And then he also has cute little peppermint buttons. This set is super cute. I really like the gnome. But, of course, I'm going to get this one because it has, I, I want basically everyone in this set. As you can see, it has the new little Bigfoot. Okay, so I really want Darla and Avery and Luna, Alfred and Avita. So I basically want all of them. My least favorite is Ivy. They're so cute. I'm pretty sure they only have two sets. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure they only have two sets. And then the other sets they have are like Kroger. So of course I'm getting this one. I'm so excited. I didn't know when these guys were coming out. I was like, they should be out pretty soon, right? Since I had the other box sets. Oh my gosh, pretty excited. It's a great find. Since I didn't find a, a Vita at Learning Express, I did find her, but she was like on hold, but yeah, I'm so excited. And I really love how small they are. I love the box sets. I'm so excited to get home and open it for you guys. I can't believe how many they have. Oh my gosh. I wonder how long it's gonna take for them to all sell out. This one is going to sell out really quick. Also, she's upside down. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna get this box set. So cute. I might get the other one later at home at my Costco. And they also have all the box sets left. I'm surprised they even have this one left. With Patty the cow. All right, now that we're back from a couple weeks ago when I found this guy, and by a couple weeks ago, I mean a month ago by now. Anyways, I am super excited. Let's get into it. I already discussed before, but I really want this one, that one, that one, and that one. So basically all of them, because I also want that one and that one. Yeah, so I'm really excited. The other one was really cute as well, but this one just had so many that I liked. And here is the back. All right, you guys, let's get it open. I'm really excited. I love opening the box sets. I also have one more box set to open that I found at Walmart a couple weeks ago, so that will be upcoming very soon. Okay, you guys, it is finally time. So I set up my camera on like a high surface, not even a tripod, just a makeshift one. So it's easier to showcase everything in screen and everything. So let's get this open. I am so excited. Okay, these scissors really don't work that well anymore. I am now realizing, as you can see, All right, you guys, we have it open. Let's get it out. I'm so excited. Oh, angel noise, the sound of angels. Maybe I'll edit it in, maybe I won't. But look how cute everyone looks. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, let's get these guys out one by one, of course. Starting off strong with the cute tartan or plaid mousse. Oh my gosh. I believe this is Maurice. Is that correct? Let me check real quick. No, it is not. It is Alfred, actually. So, sorry, Alfred, but I thought you were Maurice. Anyways, he is so cute. You guys know I love anything with antlers or horns. That's why I love the cows, the moose, the deer, you know, the yetis, everything, the dragons even. So, this guy is so cute, and of course, I love the brown squish. So, he is easily one of my favorites from this box set and look at that i love the little color matching that they do on the ribbons super cute no tag but the ornaments never come with tags so that is alfred our first cutie oh my gosh i love him so much shove him back in there and then next we have luna the penguin she is so adorable now i do not think i have luna but i might i have a couple penguins that are her bit different colors and everything but this one is so cute so it's a classic black penguin of course and she has a pink checkered i don't know my patterns i'm sorry um pattern on her hat and her scarf 
and it is so cute, a little pale pink color. And then her ornament loop comes from behind on her hat. So she is so cute. I love her colors and really adorable. I love these ornaments so much, especially because if you kind of hide the ribbon, they look just like regular, like 4.5 inches. So that is Luna, our second cutie. Next, we get to basically my favorite besides Avita, but she's still probably my favorite. And you guys know I have wanted this one, and I held off on getting her because I was hoping to get her in this box set, and I did. So this is little Darla, the reindeer. Isn't she so cute? So my only other Darla I have came in the Squishville box set with Yuri. So here she is, and I really wish that they released Darla in like a bigger size, like this classic version. She would be so cute in my opinion, but I love Darla because she's a deer, of course, and the brown. So she has a red scarf with snowflakes that you can barely see because it is printed fabric and half of them are off the thing. So I guess I should have inspected this box a little bit better, but oh well. She is so cute. She has a little pink blush, fuzzy earmuffs, and sparkly little doe antlers. And I did find this one at like Cracker Barrel, Walgreens, etc. But I am happy that I waited to get her in a tiny version. She is so stinking cute. So that is Darla, probably my favorite one. Shove her back in as well and move on to Avery. So this little Avery is so cute. Look at, ah, boop, 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 boop. I love little Averys. I am super excited. So it does have a red ribbon, which is a bit weird. I guess since it comes out of the little red and black, what is it, checkered pattern hat but I think it would make more sense if it was a different color ribbon. Anyways, this little Avery is so cute, and I did just get a regular little Avery from the other Costco box set that I opened, and I'm getting another little fuzzy Avery from the Walmart box set that I have yet to open. So now I have like three little tiny Averys, and I'm not mad about it. I love Avery. Again, the classic wish are my favorite, especially with just simple colors and, you know, the brown color scheme. I love it. So. That is little Christmassy Avery with a little like lumberjack hat on. Woo! So that's Avery. And that is the first row done. And next we have the last row. So exciting. All right, you guys. So the first one of the last row is Avita, and I'm so excited. So I was actually going to be getting her from a subscriber who was going to be getting me the ones from Five Below since I could not order them online. If you guys saw that community post, there was like a problem and you couldn't buy them to ship to home. But I haven't gotten the package or her back yet, so not entirely sure if I'm gonna get that cutie or not. I was also going to get like a bigger version of this exact cutie, but never got that one. So that one was supposed to have, I think, like a little design on its tummy and no antlers. But this one does have antlers and of course, the one with antlers is my favorite. Don't need to tell you guys my reasoning because I already discussed it in this video, but look how cute she is. So Avita is slowly becoming one of my favorite Bigfoots because I love the subtle like ice blue gray she is. She is so gorgeous and unique compared to any of the other Bigfoots. This one is so cute. And of course, this one has a little Bigfoot tooth, which makes it so much better. The ones without the tooth are cute, but you know, the tooth makes it so much cuter. And their little feet do not have the little paw prints. Are you kidding me? That is such a bummer. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Their feet look so weird and stupid now though. Anyways, that is Avita, the super cute winter little Bigfoot. And oh my gosh. And as you can see, I guess I did not really pick this box well because her antlers are definitely lopsided compared to her head. As you can see, this one should be up here. And definitely my favorite, actually. I did say Darla, but I think Avita is my favorite because I really love her sparkly little, almost like moose antlers. So cute. Don't like the naked feet, though. So that is Avita. And then next we have, I believe this one is Sharon. Let me check real quick. So this one is Sharon. I really wish it was Ray, just because I love Ray from Star Wars. But anyways, here is Sharon. She's really cute. I did see the 20 inch of this cutie at Walmart. I think it is the same design with the earmuffs and everything. So basically just a really cute light blue shark with blue earmuffs for the winter season. So cute. And look at their little teeth. Ah! I really love this one. 
did not think I would like this one as much as I did, but taking it out of the box, it is so cute, simple, and the teeth really send me. It looks kind of creepy, actually. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So that is Sharon, the super cute little winter shark. And then you guys, we only have two left. Let's shove her in there if we can. Next, we have this cute little gray doggy. Oh my gosh, look at her floppy ears. I think they're supposed to be down like this but they just go out like that, which in my opinion is way cuter than like that. So let's check out this one's name. I'm not entirely sure. This one was actually the one I wanted the least, but you know, it's a gray squish, so I can't complain because I love the gray squish. This one's name is Ivy, like Poison Ivy from DC. She has super cute floppy ears, which are actually fuzzy, and she has a fuzzy belly as well, and she's all gray, so she's like a very muted grayscale puppy, Besides for her vibrant red and white little almost candy cane scarf she has going on, it is really cute. Both her eyes are closed and then she has a dark gray spot and even everything is so cute. She even has a little gray nose, no pink ears or anything, all gray. I'm not sure if this Ivy was new this year and by this year I mean 2022 or if they made this little cutie just for the Christmas season because I know that they did sell this one at Cracker Barrel on its little lonesome. So let me know down below, but I don't think I've ever seen this color little doggy before. So she's really cute in my opinion, especially with her ears. So that is Ivy, the little floppy eared grayscale puppy. And then our very last squish in this box is Cameron. And I'm actually really excited about this Cameron. I did see this little guy at Food for Less and Smith's in like an eight inch size. And I did want to get him as well as I saw him at Walgreens. However, I'm glad I waited again because all of the ones I wanted were conveniently in this box. So, and this box was literally less than $20. It is such a steal for all of these cuties. And you can always clip off the ribbon as well. Or you can use that to display them or, again, just hide them. And they don't even look like ornaments. So this Cameron is so cute. It does have this major strainage problem going on right here, but that's okay. Just a big thread, an extra little loop there. But literally, he is so cute. He has both of his eyes closed. And then he has a green printed fabric again, snowflake little scarf and matching fuzzy hat. However, you can see more of his snowflakes on this design, but again, like half of them are off. So I guess, like I said, I did do a poor job at picking out this box in terms of quality control. But again, I am just so excited to have this set. And I honestly wanted all of the box sets from last year, but you know, I had to limit myself. So. I'm really glad that I picked out this box set though. That is Cameron. I think he is so cute. And look at his little tiny cattail. Oh my gosh. I love him. I think his colors work really well together. So that was our last ornament from this box set. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so excited. This was such a great opening. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to display all of these cuties now. There we go as if I never opened them. So cute. I might keep them in this box for a while, but I think I will hang up some of them on my wall on their little ornament hangers. Also, I have to check. Look how cute Darla's little reindeer tail is. Oh my gosh. And wait, let me check Alfred's. Oh my God, so cute. I'm sorry, I think the tails are just the best part of them, but that is that you guys, a wrap on our Christmas haul and opening video. All right, you guys, so that was everything that I got for Christmas that is Squish related. And I was really excited to finally do this opening of this set and the box set. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below if you guys would ever buy a fake Squish just like this little cute Christmas tree cow. I think he is so adorable. I had to get him. And of course, I had to order him before Christmas time was over because I would probably never make this little guy again. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, especially since I'm going to do like a huge one month long Squishmallow hunt video. So that's going to be a lot of time to do because it will probably be at least 30 minutes long. So we'll see when it comes out, but sometime this month. So subscribe for that and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs>